Howdy y'all, Nan Alive here. I'm gonna talk about the Nan shackle, the Bolin shackle. Uh, it's a combination of an inline loop and a soft shackle. Super, super helpful in lots and lots of situations. So what you're gonna end up doing is, so the first thing you're gonna want is a stopper knot at the end. And you want one that's nice. This is the one that I've been liking. I'm gonna bend my line into an S. And then with the tail end, I'm gonna wrap it around like two-ish times, 1.5, three times, something like that, until I kind of just make it big. So I got that S going, I'm wrapping it here, one, two-ish, it de depends on what you want. That's probably fine there. Um, just for the visual purpose, I'm gonna go bigger. And then I'm gonna go through the one loop through the second loop and then back through the first loop and simply because I have that tag there I would either cut it off or I'm just simply gonna adjust so I don't have to cut it on this one I'm just going to shorten it about that much so I'm gonna go the S and I'm wrapping it around the S like a hangman noose or like a whipping and it, I, mean, I guess I guess you'll kind of feel if it's gonna be the right size for you or not once you once you start wrapping it and once you've done a few so through the first through the second back through the first okay now I have this contraption that looks like that while it's loose and what I'm gonna end up doing is there's the tag right so I'm holding that in so I'm gonna pull the other side first so that'll close the loop that is closest towards the running end, the last and the first one I went through so now the other one's bigger then when I pull the working lines it shuts it up and I have this big old burly stop or not that is excess for what I'll need but it's a good visual if you need to you know cut that and melt the end do that <clears throat> okay so now that's the stop or not that will lock my soft shackle after you've got your stop or not at the end of your line you're gonna make a bowlin with that stop or not being on the little tag end thing that you end up having with your bowlin it doesn't matter what method you make your bow in it, but it does matter that after you've made it, you try to get the stopper knot uh, equal to the end of the bow. So mine's not exactly equal right there, so I'm just gonna adjust it so that you know you get it the size you want and that stopper knot ends up being at the end. So right now it's a little bit too long. If I just pull this a little bit, it should. Get just about right so it ends up being like that so now whenever I'm going to use my bow in like I would use any other one which is totally fine nothing this really isn't in the way for anything but I could stick this loop through something let's say through that then I put my stopper knot through my bowling loop. And when I pull it tight, it locks. It's awesome. When you get it out, you just undo it. You can also wrap it around a thing. If your loop and bowling shackle is long enough and it works like that, awesome again. Or you can wrap it around and shackle it to itself like you would for a ridge line and pull it that way and it works just like a toggle would only you don't have to use a toggle you're welcome yeah i got my bowling shackle nan shackle whatever you want to call it it's an inline loop with a 
tag that's got a stopper knot on it. And I made it with a bowline. So it's super easy. The inside edge of the bowline loop should match up equal to the starting edge of the stopper knot because that's what will make it the most secure attachment in most situations. I'm gonna throw it around this tree. Just gonna stick the loop over the line and stick the stopper knot through the loop. And that's all it takes. And that's how awesome it is. It's great. To get it undone, you just do the opposite. And the same soft shackle contraption or similar ones can work on your uh, Prussics. Lots and lots of good ideas for that. It's awesome. You should do it. Locking the bowline shackle is a matter of after you thread it through, instead of putting the stopper knot through the bowline loop, you first put a lark's head in the loop and stick the knot through that. Then when you tighten the lark's head on, you know, just before the knot, that will make it lock so that it won't flop off and accidentally come unlatched. It won't lock in place as far as like the slip goes. It'll lock um, as far as accidentally coming off, you know, especially if your stopper not small. And then to get it off, you gotta loosen everything and you just loosen that uh, lark's head and pull the knot back through. Simple as that. <laughs> 